summer is almost here so today i'm gonna talk about the very important topic which is sunscreen which is the important step of your skincare routine i'm gonna talk about two types of sunscreen which is very important for you to know guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's me tanisha summer is almost here so i'm gonna talk about what kind of sunscreens that you can use in summertime i've been testing so many sunscreen over the six months reason why I had to choose this topic because sunscreen is very important step of your skincare routine. It's very helpful to prevent pigmentation, to prevent from UV rays, for your skin health, to prevent skin cancer. So that is why you need to apply sunscreen every single day, no matter what. So I'm going to talk about seven different sunscreens that I have tried. I'm going to share the experience about using that sunscreen with you guys. So if you're ready, let's get started. But before than that, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are two types of main sunscreens. One is physical sunscreen, which is called as mineral sunscreen. And another one is chemical sunscreen. So for the physical sunscreen, a lot of people doesn't know the difference between them. First of all, you need to know what is a mineral sunscreen. It's a kind of inorganic filter that blocks the UVA and UVB rays that affects immediately on the skin. This type of mineral sunscreens contain zinc and titanium dioxide, which is less irritating plus works efficiently on your skin. So these are better because it sits on top of your skin rather than sinking into your skin like chemical sunscreen. That is why it's a great option for the people who have a sensitive and acne prone skin. The dermatologist suggested to the pregnant ladies apply the mineral sunscreen because they doesn't contain any chemicals on it, which is a safer option for children, pregnant ladies, for people who have a sensitive and acne prone skin. So this mineral sunscreen that I'm applying in the video is by the Axis Y No Stress Physical Sunscreen. This contains SPF 50 plus and very great doesn't leave white cast and it contains spf 50 plus and very lightweight in texture this contains very effective ingredients like green tea sequilin mugwort which is a great option for your skin concerns like premature aging soothing inflammation or to protect from sun however i feel like there is a bit gray cast that i could feel uh, but that doesn't uh, feel sticky at all. Now I'm going to talk about chemical sunscreens. So chemical sunscreen is an organic filter which absorbs the UVA and UVB rays and then it transfer into the heat. That is why it does take time like 15 to 20 minutes to absorb into your skin. So I would suggest you or highly recommend to you whenever you applying the chemical sunscreen screen like 15 or 20 minutes before you go out because it does take time to absorb into your skin before you buying the sunscreen make sure you check the ingredients i'm sharing here the chart you guys need to look for if you guys see the top layer is a oxybenzone which is a high toxic chemical if you see the oxybenzone skin ingredient in your sunscreen stop using that oxybenzone can cause skin allergy several harmful things that can happen to your skin. Sure guys, whenever you're buying the sunscreen, always check the ingredients before you buying. Even if you're buying this chemical sunscreen, so according to the chart, there is a layer that you can go for the moderate one. Well, the first sunscreen that I'm applying here is by the Round Lab. So the Round Lab is a Korean sunscreen. It contains birch juice. It is a moisturizer and sunscreen, both of them together. So you don't need to apply moisturize separately. You can just use this sunscreen, which contains moisturizing ingredients. It contains anti-acne properties. It contains antioxidant properties. And a very great for skin brightening, soothing, and great option for the people who have a dry, oily combination or normal skin. I would say for all skin type except the sensitive skin and it contains spf 50 plus easy to blend very emollient and it also replenish and hydrates the skin people were so obsessed with this korean sunscreen like a lot of people talking about the good benefit that this sunscreen provides immediately bought it and i tried my skin and it actually worked so well as you guys can see in the video how emollient it is nice it looks it doesn't leave white cast so 
this is really great option second one is one of my favorite all the time is by skin 1004 centella madagascar sunscreen guys this is a really great option for all skin type even if you have a sensitive skin however this is a chemical sunscreen but with a very mild chemicals in it contains spf 50 plus doesn't leave white cast very lightweight in texture contains hyaluronic acid that means it's also for the people who have fine lines and wrinkles as it maintains the skin elasticity and to prevent uv rays so the third one is benton uv defense sun cream and i've been trying this product like from last couple of weeks and this does have like a green texture in it however you can use it as a color corrector as well like under your makeup because you apply sunscreen before your makeup so it works as a color corrector as well it's dermatologist approved plus won't clog your pores contains spf 50 plus and does have a cooling effect like i could feel like some cooling texture on my skin and it is very calming and soothing and moisturizing also the centella madagascar round lab birch sunscreen have no pore clogging ingredients so which means it is a great option for the people who have acne on their skin for this another one sunscreen is by the beauty of jasan sunscreen which went viral last year and since last year nobody wants this is it really worth the hype so let me tell you it contains SPF 50 plus, which is a great. And then it is a chemical sunscreen. My skin type is oily. So I only like to use this Beauty of Jasan only in the winter time. But I don't feel like to apply this in summertime. So for summertime, I would rather go with the Centella Madagascar, which contains hyaluronic acid. It doesn't leave white cast. However, it does take a lot of time to absorb into your skin but it's very helpful to provide a glowing texture because it does contain rice bran and rice extract however very great option for the people who have a pigmentation and dark spots so now this sunscreen is isn't tree hollow water sun gel which is the great option for the people who have a dry skin it doesn't leave any white cast and doesn't feel greasy at all non-sticky plenishes your skin plus moisture your skin properly because it contains eight types of hyaluronic acid it's a great option for the people who have extreme dry skin like extreme dry skin i would like you to guys try this one because this does work wonder on dry skin but not the least guys one of my favorite la roche posay it's very good the thing is it is expensive like I don't feel buying this product like every day and to use this product every day however i feel like this is a great to apply occasionally because it doesn't leave white cast however it is a fluid in texture as you guys can see it is very runny and it contains spf 50 plus I choose two out of seven for the summer time i would happily choose round lab pitch sunscreen and centella madagascar which is a great for all skin type and great for all season most important thing how you need to apply the sunscreen you need to apply a equal to two fingers it's the right amount according to dermatologists that you need to apply on your skin because how it's gonna work properly and then it's gonna prevent you from uv rays and even if you're inside you still need to apply sunscreen i am inside the house so i only apply one or two times in a day not apply at night time i only apply in the morning guys because there are some people who often ask me if we need to apply in the night time no guys you don't need to apply in the night time only in the morning time and if you are outside you need to apply after every two hours which is quiet to get the enough protection from the sunscreen just so that uv rays won't affect your skin you know what you guys think about it i hope this video is very helpful for you guys make sure to subscribe like and share to my youtube channel bye